Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm doing this blue purple lilac eye look for you. Um, it was kind of actually a requested video and I really like how it turned out so if you're interested then please keep on watching. Okay, so first of all I'm taking the MUA uh, Tropical Oceana palette, taking this deep blue shade. I'm just going to start packing this onto the outer portion of my lid. I will blend it out in a second but at the moment I'm just kind of packing on the colour and building up the intensity that I want and I'm using my Hensoit Pure, um, I think it's the E20, shader brush. Okay, then I'm taking this Kiko shade. It's kind of a bit more of a brighter blue. I'm using this to help blend out that slightly deeper blue shade. And this is using just a Freedom um, blending brush for this. And so yeah, I just keep on building up, uh, blending out, and I do wing it out ever so slightly like I always do with my shadows. As you'll notice, there is a little bit of fallout with my eyeshadows, but um, that's why I'm purposely doing my eyes first, so I'm not too worried about that. But obviously just make sure you tap off the excess if you have done your foundation first. So I'm taking the Benacos palette just to take this kind of neutrally cool tone grey shade but I'm only taking a very light amount of that on my E40 and so pure brush just to further buff out the colour but only very slightly. Now I'm just packing some more of that really deep blue shade from the MUA palette onto the outer portion of the lid. And again, just blending as I go along. Now, I did then take this purple shade from Kiko again and kind of popped it almost next to the deep blue shade to create that gradient effect, but um, I did actually switch up later on and put something over the top of it. So this was kind of a wasted step a little bit, but I thought I'd show you anyway. But I do go back in with this colour later on. So I decided to actually take this colour from the MUA palette, so it's kind of, I guess, a purpley blue, it's quite deep, a little bit shimmer, and I kind of packed that over where I'd put that purple. So like I said, I kind of changed my mind, and I really like the tone of this colour, and I actually preferred it to the deep blue as well, so I kind of put it over a little bit of the deep blue shade as well. So I'm just kind of building up the different colours and really kind of creating a gradient effect as well. Okay, and then I'm taking some concealer and I'm using this to um, cover up the kind of inner third of my lid. So when I pop a colour on top, it's going to be really intense and really stand out. It's not, I guess it's kind of a half cut crease, but not really. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take this lilac shade from the MUA palette and I'm going to pack that on top. Just with a flat brush. To be honest, I think I'm using the exact same brush I use for my concealer. And now I'm taking that purple shade that I, from Kiko that I did use earlier and covered up just to kind of blend the dark blue and the lilac together. So you can see it just creates a really beautiful gradient effect. And then I decided to add some winged liner today. So I'm taking my some Pure Black Tea um, liner and created just a quite a simple, relatively small flick um, with it. So yeah, I know I kind of switched up the colours, but I kind of just experimenting. And sometimes you start off with one colour and you change your mind, so you go with another colour. So it's always I thought it was quite interesting to see the process. Then I'm taking that same grey shade again from Benacos, and I'm running this along the lower lash line. You could continue with the blues and the purples underneath, but I decided just to stick it to the upper lid. And I took some of the dark shade just to really uh, to slightly deepen up the outer corner of the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take this shimmery pink shade from the MUA palette and use this to highlight my um, the inner corner of my eyes. I'm just using my finger for this. And then I went in with the Pacifica Stella Gaze Mascara and gave my upper and lower lashes a good couple of coats. So moving on to the skin, I'm taking my Hands Up Pure Luminous Primer as always. And then I'm taking the Dr. Hushka Bronzing Tint 
I'm using this to kind of warm up the areas I would warm up anyway, so along the cheeks, around the temple, the forehead, and things like this. I've been liking using this before concealer, um, because it actually, in some areas, kind of evens out the imperfections, so it means I don't have to go with concealer everywhere. So I'm taking Makeup Revolution Concealer in C3, and popping this under my eyes, and then any blemishes that I need to, that are still on show. So like I mentioned recently, I'm really enjoying not wearing foundation at the moment. Um, although I will have a foundation review, or I am planning on doing a foundation review soon, so, but at the moment I've been enjoying not wearing foundation. So I'm just using my um, Expert Face Brush just to blend everything out. And then I'm just going to set that in place using my PHB powder. So obviously anywhere I put concealer and then down my T-zone as well. I do like this, really like this powder because it's got a little bit of cover, so it kind of adds extra coverage where I need it as well. And then I decided to go the iconic um, Shine Illuminator Drops, and as you saw, I kind of accidentally put way too much on, literally a little goes a really long way, but I will show you in a second how you can kind of diffuse it if you have gone overboard like I did. But they are really lovely drops, you just only really need a small amount. So then what I did is I took the same brush I used for my concealer, um, so it's still got a bit of remnants of concealer on there and used that to help buff out some of the areas where I wanted to kind of diffuse and minimise the highlighter. Then I went with the Jane Ardell um, Cheek and Lip Stain in Forever Pink, I think it's called. I really, really like this. And I pop this on my cheeks and then just blend them out using the Expert Face Brush again from Little Techniques. So then I went in with the Pacifica um, Devotion Natural Lipstick in XOX. It's a really beautiful pink shade. I always found it a bit too pink, so then I just, once I applied it, I blended it out and smudged it out with my finger just to make it look a bit more natural looking, slightly more smudgy. Um, sometimes I think if you, like a nice kind of diffused lip is really pretty, so that's my aim there. So that's this makeup look complete. I know I've faffed about with different eyeshadows quite a bit, but as you can see, it's a really beautiful gradient from the blue to the food purple to the lilac, and it's just a really nice way of kind of mixing colours together. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.